Welcome back to our Be Strong show. I am your host, Michelle Shirley, CEO and Chief Heart Officer for Be Strong International. Welcome. We are so excited that you've tuned in to us today. We have some amazing information for you. We have an amazing guest that I'm really excited about. I do want to share that we have an amazing event coming up. It is our annual fundraiser called Hearts in Rhythm. It's April 27th, and we are looking for your support. We're looking for corporate sponsors. Our reception sponsor is already sold out. Thank you to South State Bank for being our reception sponsor. We appreciate all of the banks and other organizations that will support us on that night. We want you to be there again. It's at the Rusty Pelican on Key Biscayne. Beautiful view. We're honoring some amazing people in the community. Please visit our website at bestrongintl.org. Click our events page to learn more about the amazing work that that we are doing. By the way, if you don't know who we are, listen, 2023 Be Strong International is coming in hot. We have so many amazing things that we are doing for the community. Tomorrow we're doing an amazing food drive. And of course, we have our social yaks game that we have pr are promoting all this month. We're taking $5 off. Please make sure that you support us. We are a great innovative organization that is moving individuals and families from brokenness to wholeness, teaching heart skills. Well, today we have an amazing guest. I love her spirit. We have been here on the back end laughing, talking, sharing so many uh, stories. And so I have with us today, Miss Lillian Lopez. She is the founder and president CEO of the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And so thank you so much for being here. Of course. Oh my gosh. It's a pleasure, Michelle. And we had a nice conversation, yes, all of us did. here in the studio. I know, right? Before you know, I can talk. Once I have the Cuban coffee in the morning, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. No, 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 no. So thank you. Thank yes. you for the kind invitation. Absolutely. And your event that's coming up is so beautiful. I went last oh. year and so classy. And it was thank it was you. it was just the view thank and the Rusty you. Pelican and yes. the support that you have. And you deserve it for the great work that you do for the community. Thank you so, so much, congrats. William. Yes. And we met a while back, I think at another gala. I don't know if you remember, but I saw you and I'm yes. like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm gonna go walk up to her and say hello. And you're like, oh my God, Kalinda. Kalinda. <laughs> <laughs> at the Miami Day Chamber yes. with my friend Eric yes. Knowles. Yes. A year before. <laughs> yes. And this year, Eric so kindly on their board, they gave me a, an oh, award, the Citizen so, of the Year. So beautiful. Eric is a friend of many years. I love Eric Knowles. And I have a history with their chamber because of Dorothy Baker, their, okay. the previous, um, yes. their previous president, who, when I started with this, um, founding this organization, she was like a mentor to oh, me. And we used to do beautiful. events together. She would call me, Lily, you have to do this and that. And you always appreciate that. Uh, so I have a strong relationship and, and strong ties to the Miami Day Chamber. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, yes. my friends. Yeah. So tell us about the chamber. How oh, it hard. I mean, back then. Yeah, it was very about, difficult yes. for women. So what happened was that I wanted to be a lawyer, and I graduated from St. Thomas and a St. Thomas alum, oh. um, in a major in political science. I wanted to go to law school. So my mom was very got very ill. And uh, a friend of mine was the executive director of the Spanish American League Against Discrimination. And he said, Lily, you know what? The nonprofit world is not that bad. I'm leaving now. I'm going to recommend you for this position. So I was selected to be the executive director to work hand in hand with the late Osvaldo Soto, who was one of the founding uh, members of CABA, the Cuban American Bar. Okay. okay. And, uh, and uh, Dr. Eduardo Padron who was, oh, the president of Miami-Dade College. Yes. He was a mentor to me, and he had been also founding chairman of Salad. So I worked basically with them. So I was, mm. like, trained with the best of the best. That is great. So that what happened great. then that my mom was very, uh, like I said, she was about to sort of, like, not die, but she was critical. So I left the job, stayed taking care of her for six months. Mm. And then after that, she bounced back. She did a little bit better. So some friends of mine said, why don't we start a Hispanic chamber? There's no Hispanic chamber that represents like the young professionals back in the time, of course, uh, oh. like us and da da da. And I'll give you an office, and we have the CPA, and that'll give you time to take care of your mom. So it's an interesting story oh. when people ask how it started. It started so I could take care of her. Yeah. And but I did have the background of the nonprofit, which was and helpful, the, the journalism. Also, I studied journalism and political science, so I was I was trained to do press conferences, to do the press releases, to do banquets and what have you. That's amazing. So, it, so life it, takes you through a path. That journey. 
And I always tell my daughter, you know what? Life takes you. I mean, you have to go with it and you have to prepare yourself, but it'll take you where it wants you to be. Yeah. And then I didn't know that it was going to become such an important organization. One of the top Today? five Hispanic chambers in the U.S. I mean. So, but it took a long time. Of Imagine course. a Hispanic woman and young. Oh. I know. Of course. And then you hear my, oh. That just tells you. <laughs> It's, it's a lot very of difficult when you're young Hispanic and a woman to be taken seriously. Mm. So, but you know what? You keep going and just working hard and doing what you have to do. And eventually, you know, the organization got the recognition. Yeah. Plus the, the board members and the members in general. Everybody's amazing, really so yeah. nice and, and, and committed. And we have fun. That's important. We do business, but you have fun too. Yes. That's very And that's what Hispanic, people want. Right? We're in Miami. Yeah, we're in Miami. <laughs> right? I always say the capital of the world. I know. Miami. We want to be productive, of but course. at the same time, we don't want to. You don't want to just sit there uh, <laughs> and listen to a speech and whatever. Yeah. You want to be have educational, you know, stuff and information, but at the same time, the members need to have a drink and yeah, work and have a good time. Yeah. And I feel like each chamber has. Sort of like their own niche, right? Niche. They have their own, their own yes, of course, yeah. of course, and it's good, and it's. I think it's great. Yeah, everybody. Yes. All chambers have their own little mm-hmm. unique yes. thing that characterizes them, correct, and then that attracts people, and it's wonderful. But us it has to yours be is content, educational information, and a little bit of fun. A little bit. We of always fun. have to have the mojito, <laughs> and all the events you'll have a mojito yes. before the lunch. You oh, have to have a nice. mojito. Because it's very, that's very Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very good. Caribbean, that's good. by the way. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that, people get happy. Yeah, that's get good. happy. And it, it, you know, it calms them down. It yeah. relaxes. You know what? You get friendlier. Have a mojito. You get to know who's sitting next to you in the table. That's, good. that's an opportunity to, to, to do business when you're yeah. more relaxed. When that's you're true. tense, you can't do business. That's true. Hi, how are you? I'm so-and-so. Good to meet you. Here's my card. You think later you're going to follow up with that? Yeah, it seems, it seems very uh, transactional, which is it, what I'm always trying to move people away from. No, yes. you don't want that. I don't like that. No. no. Yes. So no. <laughs> it needs to be genuine. And in Miami, genuine. we want to make sure that we get to know people. Yes. Who are we interacting with? Who has credibility? Right? Be- and people do business with people they know. Like you say, credibility, people they know, they've seen, they've talked to several times, then they they feel yes. comfortable out of the blue. We, we're not, yeah, I used to say, because now we don't have that, but before, Yellow Pages, you know, yeah, you know, a Hispanic know. or any, yeah. anybody from it's the Caribbean, true. African-Americans are very yeah. similar to us Hispanic. Yeah. Yellow Pages, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Who did your... I remember those. Who's your banker, right? Remember the yellow... They were huge. I'm like, this is only A to L? Oh, my God. We go <laughs> We go by word of mouth. Who do you do? Who, do, who does this for you? Who does that? Oh, yeah, he's my friend. Oh, I met him at the chamber. Oh, oh yeah, he's a nice I love guy. that. You can trust him. Yes. You can trust her. And then people like that. Yes. That's what we... Yes. That's how Referrals, we are. Referrals, mm-hmm. yeah. Referrals. That's, that's, and the personal it. touch. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh-huh. So, I know we spoke a little bit about these amazing events that you have coming up. I want you to share with the audience oh. some of the things you're working on. Yes, we just had a lunch in Doral because we've always had a Doral chapter. So we, in December, we had our toy drive and lunch in Doral. In January, we had a lunch in Doral also. Well, we talked because like I said to you well, b- before we started the show, educational and fun. So we had a doctor that came to talk about post-COVID syndrome. Mm-hmm. 5% of the population, I got scared. I asked a question because it seemed like, every, you know, when they talk, it's like everybody has it. And then she said, it's only 5% of the population. Okay, thank you. Wow. Only 5% wow. of the population suffer from those symptoms of post-COVID. Right. But it's good that we had that so the members know. What's and then happening? some people say, okay, so now I know what I had. Yes. Now what I'm feeling is post-COVID mm-hmm. syndrome, but it's only 5%. And uh, now we have the Heart Disease Awareness this Friday. Yeah. It's a lunch at the Biltmore. And like I was um, telling you privately, pr- um, prior to the uh, show, starting the show, that we have a panel of doctors. We always want to have educational information for the members. So we have Dr. Joseph Lamelas, who's the best cardiac surgeon from U Health. They're the presenting sponsor. And then we have um, several doc- a doctor from Mercy Hospital. And I wanted, That's you know, nice. I wanted to do something different because every year we have this event because it's so important. We've been doing it for 10 years. I didn't know the heart disease was the number one killer. We always think it's cancer. The number one killer of both wow. men and women is heart heart disease. And women. Women. Too. I want to make that Women clear. think it's breast cancer. We want to make it that is, clear. It's very important. So that's why I've been doing this. But sometimes people fail to understand. So I said, let me spice it up a little bit. So then we have Dr. Vivian Gonzalez from Caso Cerrado. 
she that's a, a very famous show yes. that was um for 15 years in the air she's a neuropsychologist i said and she's fun i said let's bring that's vivian good. too because vivian is going to talk about oh. stress and our lives and women and we're so stressed out yeah. what role does that play in heart disease maybe blood pressure mm. whatever so let's give it the twist let's hear the doctors and let's hear a psychologist talk about the stresses yes. of life the day to day yes. the people the late women with children they have parents they have the husband the house the mm -hmm. job how does that affect the heart yeah so we have that and then the spice it up too we have a professional fashion show because it's that's before so pre valentine's nice. day so oh, that's, that's nice. so nice the violinists play oh. well and then it'll be like mommy and me that's so the little nice. ones and then the panel and then the hispanic women's society network of the chamber then they're going to model at the end just to close. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. It's going to be that's really nice. nice. Yeah. So, I love how you put that spin on it. I love how it's just like. And then people it, are enthusiastic. Yeah. And it's fun. You know, uh, we're over, we're bombarded with so much information. And so much negativity. We so negativity we don't want to leave out of there the saying, oh, the heart. Is correct. So yes. we want to leave saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take care of ourselves, but we're going to model. <laughs> In red. <laughs> I love it. Right? I love it. And then it, yeah. you feel better. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, that's amazing. And then we have the gala. Oh, tell February me. February 24th, which is just Havana in the 50s. We're celebrating you Sylvester's 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So they're the presenting sponsor. And uh, Emilio Stefan confirmed the gala is pulled out. I know before we announced them. So now people are really nervous and they want to go. And they're pretending that they didn't see the invitation prior to that. It's just that they pay attention now to Emilio Stefan. They're paying attention. <laughs> and I feel bad. I wish I would have had, I yeah. had a big room. But I mean, there's a limit. To, there's a limited capacity to what the ballroom. What a fun night that will be. That's going to be so nice. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. It's going to be super, oh super goodness. nice. Maybe I'm going to switch clothes and become a server oh. so I can see this experience happen. It's so I was funny. thinking so, maybe we yeah. could put a tent in the terrace or something. <laughs> Or maybe do an after party That's and allow so people cool. to come in later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking of, of, of creative things because... I like to say yes to everybody. I know. Me everybody too. says, oh, Lily's a yes person. You got to learn to say no. Me baby. too. I, I say know. yes to everybody. Yeah. yeah. And Especially then you feel bad. You know it's for a good cause. Yeah. We're that. raising funds for our scholarship program yeah. and our education enrichment program. And we've given close to a million dollars as part of our foundation. That is to, wonderful. Yeah, to financially disadvantage um, minority students. Wow. And so three let's talk programs. about that. Yeah, let's talk about So how are students, if parents are watching right now, yeah. um, or they're working with other uh, nonprofit organizations, especially in the areas in which your constituents are, how can they learn more about that program to donate, to give? Yeah, to figure out yes. how students can be a part of the, the application have, process. They have to be part of the Academy of Hospitality, Tourism, and Business, and Hospitality of Miami Dade County Public Schools because Great. hospitality is a number one industry. Uh huh. I love that. So it's that, that, and we we select schools. Um, Beach High. We've done Miami New Orleans. We've done Hialeah. We've done. I went Homestead. to New Orleans. Woo oh, oh, Vikings. Oh yeah. <laughs> we take, we, the the student we've done with. Taking students from New Orleans on paid trips. Oh. That's the enrichment program. Yeah. Yeah. Many years. We've been doing this like for 16 years. Well, the foundation started 25 years ago, 26. That's beautiful. Yeah. I started it because I figured my mom was a teacher. Uh, she loved, and my grandmother and my great-grandfather. So I said, yeah. we need to do something with education. Yes. Education is so important. Yes, it is. Right. When it you is. teach these students. So we have kids that, Michelle, we take on a paid trip in a partnership with Southwest Airlines. So then the, the foundation pays for the hotels, for the oh, meals. And cool. then I always try to get a partner of the chamber at the national level. So right. if we go to Atlanta, Coca-Cola will host us. So we do a full day meeting with people and tell them, please put a minority because these kids need to see someone else. Oh, so they see, yeah. okay, I can do it because of now, you know, they're in a small little world. It's intimidating. It's intimidating. They're in their own uh, sphere. Bubble, and they yes. have, they're all, I, I request that they, I, they, I need to see that they're in a paid lunch program paid lunch program so you know that they are really needy and um so we've taken students to the headquarters of microsoft to facebook uh new york we've been even macy's just the macy's parade for them though the exposure oh my God, they'll I never forget so that much they'll never forget that i yeah, love so, that so that's for like for six we need to years. partner then because Yay. we serve miami dade county public schools and yes. i just know about the depth of the scholarship program so yes so let's students 
Let us know so, how we can help connect. I yeah. love it. Oh my yeah, God, let's do it. For the enrichment, we only travel with 10 students. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. For every student, then you got to take, I don't know how many chaperones. So oh, sometimes yes. it gets to the point <laughs> that there's a more adult <laughs> than kids, you know? <laughs> Like, I want to see. <laughs> you know, then you got to take the teacher, the uh, assistant principal, then you got to yeah, take yeah, another yeah. one from the Especially when I look at the itinerary and I find out this is where you guys are going. Uh, how many adults or more uh-huh. adults and kids? I don't like that, but, but, uh, but you got to take the chaperones. Oh, no. For each school, you have to take one chaperone yeah, for that least, school. Yes, yes. So then that makes safety, it another room. It makes it, uh, we have to pay for another room, more meals. And then it takes away. Yeah, and unfortunately, for it's the way it has to be because yeah, they have to be for safety, chaperone yes. for safety. Yeah. But sometimes you see, my God, the picture, there's more, more adults than kids. <laughs> no, and exactly. and some, some of the students have never traveled before in their lives. Uh, I know. We've never last... gotten on a plane. We no, have, there was a student so crying. Kids. He's never been on a plane. Yes. We have kids never been on a plane, never been to the beach in Miami. It's, I mean, it it's is just, it is just. And then you, it is like a parallel world, like people. That, and we're all. We don't recognize. Together, we don't recognize what's happening. Intertwined, we are. are exactly. I and know. If you go a couple blocks over, everything changes. We're all at Publix. Yes. We're all at Walmart, right? It's, and everything. Yeah. It's it's, and there's so much need, and we need <sighs> to teach them that they have an opportunity because they come from a different world, different background. They're all they all come from broken homes, yes. single single parent. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, a problem, but yeah. they can do it. Yeah, but they need they need to have right. they need to have the tools, yeah. and then we have the uh, paid internship program, and that's been also successful. Oh. We had to stop that one during COVID. But, yeah, yeah. But I've had many students that have been in the paid internship program that have stayed later. Oh, like one of so my wonderful. one of the girls that works with me, I said, "Girl, she's like 30 already." <laughs> but I, when she came to me, she's like 22, oh. and she's wonderful. She's a young lady, and oh, um, so she's from the islands, and she came. Through a program at Miami Dade College, I forgot the name of the program. Okay, she was a paid intern, and then I hired her, Aww. and she stayed with me for five years. Then she left, and now she's back. Oh, and I love nice. her. She's from Saint yeah. Lucia. I'm sure yeah. you love all your team members. Oh like yes, like, oh, oh right. amazing! Yeah. And then I have a student that I always say he's my pride and joy. That he is now the president of Rado Watches of the U.S. and the Caribbean. And I remember when he started working with me, I would look and I say, oh, my God, what have I done? He's so slow, this and that. Because he was 21. Yeah. And now I always tell him, now you're above and oh, beyond. Yeah. And, and my you're pride above. and joy. You're I'm above. so happy. Look at you're you. You're above. A CEO, national level. Oh, my God. I know. But that's amazing. And that, I trained him, yeah. Yes. And then I hired him. And he was amazing. That's great. Because that, that plays into sort of like the fact that we need to mentor. invest in and mentor three, young people. We do. Help them grow in their skill sets. You've created an amazing culture. So have I. We actually got South yeah. Florida Best Places to Work oh, this year in South Florida I Business love Journal. It. Oh, Best congratulations. Right. Yes. I love it. So, yeah. But, but all those things. All those things. And if people would do what you and I do, there's so many companies. Give an oh, opportunity. Give a chance. <laughs> right? I yeah. struggle. So that's why I do it. Oh, but, but there's a lot of things, right? Yeah, the yeah. The liability, the this and that, everything yeah, is yeah. so complicated. And I think, too, some I've realized, and even as I've gotten older in my role, um, you have to have the gift of patience. Yes, of course. And coaching when you're dealing with young people yeah. or anyone who is learning a new skill set. Even teaching them to dress. It's a gift. To yes. dress. To dress. It's a gift. And, yeah. it's, and not to be offensive. So you need yes. to teach them in a oh, way that they yes. become offended either. Yes, exactly. Know. But it's important. Yeah. Your appearance also yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it, it, but it's nice. I it's think it's nice. rewarding. It, it, it is. It's very rewarding. To see them yes. move on to other things and or see other them organizations. So successful. Yeah. Yes. It is. Exactly. It is. That, that it is. fills your heart with yes. joy. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Oh Absolutely. my gosh. Yay. That's amazing. Well, I wanted you to briefly talk about uh, just a little bit about you coming here. We've talked about your history of just being come from Cuba. You right, yes. And yeah. How was Cuban that transition? Yeah. Well, since I was only two, little girl, so I was raised here in Miami. Yeah. But you know what? That, that you, When your parents are Cuban, uh, you you learn to be the culture, to speak Spanish and all of anyway. that. 
And I'm teaching my daughter too because that Cuban culture is very different. Yes. Right. Yes. I mean, the people from those days were different than the ones that come now mm. because the people come now from Cuba have lived all their lives in communism, in a mm. dictatorship. So it's different. It's different. So it's not the same as our yeah. parents. My, yes. my parents, my mom was a teacher. My father was a business owner. He was a self-made man. Oh, that's So wonderful. it's all a lie yeah. that the people in Cuba were poor and Castro came to give to everybody. That's all a lie. Mm. And he, they say that he helped with education. Cuba yeah. was the number the third country that had people more, more lit literacy after our Uruguay and Argentina was Cuba. So he came, but th that teaches you that a lie can be said so many times that it gets to the point that people believed that he provided education to people. People were educated already. And he, he also lied about the healthcare system, mm. which the healthcare system in Cuba was amazing. You could tell by the doctors that came back in the day that immediately they, they were able to get their board and, and work as doctors. Right. Whereas now, the people, the majority of the doctors that come from Cuba, they cannot pass the, the, the boards. Oh, wow. Many of the oh, wow. doctors that I know are nurse practitioners. Mm. And I'm not saying in an offensive way. Yeah. But right. meaning that either the, the tests are harder or the education in Cuba under the communist regime was not what Fidel Castro yeah, was right. saying or what they say. Yeah. And the hospitals are all a lie. And I, I'm passionate about that because they have hospitals that they show to the world and then the people that go to... That live there. The live there, day. have to take their pillows, the stitches, everything for them because there's nothing mm. for them. So it's all a lie about communism and now they're in Venezuela. And, all that. and I say it because many people don't realize it unless you live it. And I lived it because my parents, my father was a self-made man. So he owned businesses and did a lot. And he started here when he was like 39, 40 years old doing dishes. And I was a girl that was poor. I only had like one doll every year. So I know about that. Yeah. So when I see, you know, when you see things in this country, yeah. all of and these things see. that are happening, I don't know. And I so, think it made you who you are now, though. Yes. Caring, very Caring. passionate, outspoken and individual we, about issues. We have to be vigilant. Attention. To be yes. Vigilant. Look sure. Vigilant. Look at the Chinese with this balloon. Or whatever. We got to be vigilant yeah. because the people are communists. Yes. They're bad. And whenever there's a dictatorship, we must protect our democracy. Yeah. And that's what happened in Cuba. It's the least, the, the country that should not have been under a communist regime because people were educated and, and, and there were many opportunities. Just he came talking pretty. Now I'm going to throw this nice. out there. I'm going to throw this out there. They talk uh, nice. Have you ever considered running for office? Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, I, I have. But, but the thing is with that is that then it becomes very stressful and then you get enemies. And I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I like to be like a mediator. I love, and I love, people. <laughs> I love everybody. And they want to upset. I try to, right, right. like me. I love my enemies. I love everybody. I love everybody. I want everybody to be happy, <laughs> right? So then what's going to happen? No, some, some people are not going to be happy. And then when people are not happy with me, I get that. <laughs> right? We're, we're so similar. Michelle, so you know what? No. I'll help behind the I'm scenes. I'm cracking up. It's yeah. so funny. No, it's no, so no, because then I'll have enemies. I don't want to have enemies. It's so true. Oh, my God. It's difficult. God. It's Even the way nowadays, we've been right? wired. Help us. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want enemies. What people love one Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. love. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're about. Love. love. That's why I run Love and giving back to the love. community, yeah. to the students, to the businesses. That's what yeah. it's all about. And everyone gets a piece. Everyone is supported. Everyone has access to the resources that exactly. they need so we can all thrive. Yes. I love it. That's what it is. Exactly. I love it. Oh. Me too. Okay, Me too. great, yes, great, great. Well, I'm going to move on quickly to our next segment. So just letting you know, every person that comes on the Be Strong <laughs> show has to play what we've called Social Yaks, our newest game. Like I said, it's online on sale on Amazon. <laughs> Pick it up. Social Yaks. Social Yaks, yes. And so each stage, you go a little deeper. So I'm going to have you... Uh, play the first section of the game, which is called Breaking the Ice. So I'm going to have you pick a card there, read it. One of the, the audience. Two. Yep, one of those. Mm -hmm. I've got to get two? And, no, one at hey, a time. Which one do yeah, I like? One oh, one at a time. And then read it aloud. Oh, what did you want to be when you were younger? An actress. Stop uh, it. Yes. But you look like an actress. I wanted to you, act. You look fabulous. I wanted to act. I you wanted to fabulous. be, because I used to, when I was a kid, I used to dance and do shows and performances. Well, you know what? But then, you know, we were poor, this and that. There wasn't an opportunity. But wait, I saw you on LinkedIn playing Oh, I played piano. the piano. Oh, yes, I studied it. I used years. to play the piano, um, so I was like, oh my goodness. My mom oh, was wait. a piano teacher, so I graduated. I did my full eight years. Yeah. So can you sing as well? 
I can a little bit, but I'm not going to sing now. <laughs> She's but like, don't make me sing no, right now. No, because I have, I remember I've, I've been a little bit sick under the oh weather. Oh, my goodness. I like to because sing. I heard your voice yeah. when I first met you, and I'm like, <laughs> this raspiness that you have, I bet you, you can <laughs> sing it. I love it. You have that little, oh, my God. I can sing a little bit, yeah. But then, you know, it was tough times. My father and my mother trying to survive yeah. and all of that. You were it's poor, just, yeah. so how am I going to be an I'll actress or yeah. anything? Oh. But I liked oh. acting. I thought it was very nice. And I did flamenco and ballet. Oh, I, I love it. Yes, I love it. I like all of that. Okay, we're okay, going to go next. deeper next level. Oh, deeper. Is, social. Deeper. <laughs> what is something you would avoid doing at all costs? <laughs> A job that deals with technology that I don't have to, th that, I, I, that I can't talk a technological position. Da, da, da. Right, yeah. All of that. I can't talk and no interaction with anybody. You can't that do type it. of job. I you can't do, do that. I have that. to be by myself in a desk. No. <laughs> because I, I get energy from being with people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't be alone. Yeah, and then people, that, those types of jobs like engineering. My daughter graduates as an engineer. I'm very proud and does from engineer. Oh, congrats. She's a scholarship from UM. Out. Engineering yes. mine, but okay. I could never be an engineer. I could never be. Right. Uh, software or whatever type of person. I get lost. I always yeah. have my staff. I'm here. Oh my God, what happened here in the computer? Everybody comes help me. <laughs> Lily needs help. <laughs> Five people come rushing. Five people rushing. What happened? I don't know. What happened here? <laughs> they take over. Your, they're like, okay, just, just Lily, move away. Just move this away. Is it. So I could never do any of those jobs. That's Behind so a desk, not talking to anybody. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> no. All right, let's pick another okay, one. Okay, another one. <laughs> what activity energizes your soul, mind the most? Being with people, people, yeah, and the events. Just I love oh, that. I, yeah, I'm a people events. person. I love to be with people. I feel better now. When I was coming here, I said, "Oh my god, I'm driving. I hate to drive." Da 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 da. Now I just saw you. I saw <laughs> your team here. I got so happy. <laughs> being with people. That's awesome. People person. Next, okay. Right, so we're gonna dig deeper. Oh, what is something you think people do not understand about you? Oh, that's a deep one. I like that. <laughs> That people sometimes, and now, okay, I'm, I'm older, but when I was young, this personality, I'm a Gemini. Some people, if they're not really smart and they don't have what it takes to understand another person, they think that you are not that smart, that you're an airhead. Meaning that when you're happy, mm -hmm. lively, okay. bubbly, and laughing, they can't put you in a position as a CEO running a company or an organization, which I can do very well. And when I have to be tough, I'm very, very, very. And then people just see the, this and We're they think so they can abuse you. They think they can abuse you. We're so much alike. And you have a standard and you want yes. excellence. Yes. So people have to know, yeah, I'm very, very tough. And everything has to be perfect. I love that. Yeah. Everything that we do in the organization and the events and the members, oh. everything has to be perfect. The rest is okay. <laughs> but that has to be perfect. And then people sometimes when they see you so nice, they try to take advantage. Oh, they think, oh, they're not Lily. No, Lily, Lily, Lily is <laughs> Really tough. <laughs> I love it. Very tough. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love that. And we're strong. And sometimes, we, yeah, strong. Exactly. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that. We're doesn't weak. mean that you're weak. Because exactly. We, yeah. And people sometimes, those that are not that smart, think they can take advantage of you because they see you so sweet. And but then sometimes you have to stop. But we're always people. thinking. We're always thinking. And sometimes you have to stop people in a nice way. In a nice way. Yeah. Because sometimes people take advantage of people yes. who have a good heart. Yes. And the That's good true. heart doesn't mean that you don't have character, that you're not strong, that you're not a leader. It and that you're not going to set boundaries. Person. Correct. Exactly. I love Yay. that. We are so much thing. alike. Oh, my goodness. Okay. okay. Here's another one. Another one. <laughs> Dig deeper. What situation mean you realize your parents were not perfect? Oh, well, my mom was wait, very wait, dominant. Wait, again? You didn't, okay. I don't know if the audience What heard. situation made you realize your parents were not perfect? No, that my mom was very dominant. I loved her, but she was dominant. She was a teacher, but she was dominant. Mm -hmm. So there you see, I mean, loving me a lot, but very, very dominant. Yeah. So you realize when people are very dominant, they're not perfect. I loved her and she loved me a lot. Yeah. But she was like with me. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my father, well, he He's lived a longer. Man, yeah. He's a businessman. So for to me, I mean, he was almost perfect. <laughs> almost perfect. That's because she's a daddy's girl. Yes. Right? I yes. am too. Oh my gosh. Yes. I live nine houses down from my dad. I my told my husband, please, 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 we could just stay in the area. Please. People. Everybody, all my people in the chamber knew my father. People. And then I go people. to his they were house. Calling people. And then I go to his house. And then I like jump on him, still hug him. Oh, you see, you're not the same. Oh my God. Oh, my father. Oh my God. I would leave all chamber events immediately. Go pick I up have, the daycare. He I was in a daycare. Friend, yeah, I had a friend. And would live with us. I, had, I have a few friends, but I had one particular that said, 
I don't know what I'm going to do with you when your right. father. Oh, I don't God. know what I'm going to do because it's tough. It's tough. they know me and him, right? And with me when my father too. I would stop going to happy hours and anything just to be with him. Imagine that. Mm. A people person. But I would say, oh, no, no, no. I have to be with my father. Yeah. And he would say, oh, when I walked in, he said, la mujer más grande del mundo. <laughs> The most important woman in the world. <laughs> like that's how you feel. My father would say that to me. He's like, my dad would. My dad would. No, my dad would buy me dresses when he would travel, <laughs> and the dresses on the back said "My Michelle." Oh, I thought he made them for me until I found out later on it was a real brand. But oh. I thought he made them. That's so it was beautiful. Amazing. It's so beautiful. Anyway, it's so beautiful. Yes. It was yeah. beautiful. So anyway, yeah. we're going to yeah. land with this last note because our <sighs> time is coming up. You if know what I, me? I could talk more. I know. Me too. If you were to receive an award for something, what would it be for? And so I answer this part. I think your award of... The award would be heartfelt game changer. Oh. I think that's a good... I like that. Sounds so pretty. Yes, and now yeah. for heart disease. Oh, yes. Heartfelt, heartfelt game changer. I think you are just Aww. a woman of just great class. Um, Thank you, Michelle. You have so much spunk and you are passionate about what you do and it explodes <laughs> it explodes it explodes you're just a warm human being oh thank um, you the way that you, you welcomed me it was it was pretty amazing so oh with that said i want you to just share really fast how they can uh be a part All of the chamber of be a part of the chamber yeah. yes 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 oh the camera cameras yes yeah. <laughs> so many lights and cameras i love it yes okay so you could call 305 534 one nine zero three, and I'll report. Uh, and I'll re repeat report three zero five five three four one nine zero three. You can speak to Maria Diaz Kramer, the amazing Maria, who's just fabulous. She handles everything that deals with membership, and you can also visit our website, which is www.sflhcc.com. I know it's difficult. That's fine. It'll be it's the acronym sflhcc.com. The L is important because if you don't put the L, it'll be San Francisco Hispanic <laughs> Chamber. <laughs> Okay, I always say nice. that, and then that rings a bell to people. I say, okay, there's an L, yeah, the L. Yes. Okay. And we'd love to have you as a member, the audience, and uh, come try our, our, our events. And we have, like, monthly events, sometimes two events per month. And uh, we're busy, and, and you, it, it's a nice organization. Awesome. People love, awesome. and they come back for more. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. That thank wraps you so up our show. Thank you, Lilium, for My being pleasure. here. We are excited about all that we're doing. Um, we're passionate about our work. You can visit us again at bestrongintl.org to learn more. Follow us on all of our social media pages at bestrongintl. And if I haven't said it, mm -hmm. I'll say it again. It's never too late to start over again. Bye.